се не бях. Ще ти ако да. Я пробиваш трава. Не, сигурно. Ще те ушутля някакво, трябва да го дяли страна от камера. Тако дяли беше страна от камера да се увели. Я, я. What is the camera on? What? Yes. Hey, God, the Lord. Now, today we must be quick. But, of course, first time we salute our subscribers and viewers. Thanks for your support, for visiting our channel, for all your comments, for your subscriptions, and for sharing and spreading the passion from this channel to the rest of the world. I mean, the passion for the RC planes. I will just come to the question of the day. What do we have today? Again, we are here with the beautiful and sexy E-Flight Optera. 1.2 meter wingspan. From Horizon Hobby. From Horizon Hobby, which we have seen the first part when we were trying to test the safe function on free cell batteries. I throw the plane like a pussy and nothing happened. I have crashed the plane. Now at least we have tested that this plane is really tough because it has survived that crash. And of course later we have filmed the video when I, when I have showed you the robot trolley that I have bought. And we were thinking that maybe we could take off with the trolley with this plane, but viewers, no way, Jose, because we have filmed the video, of course, you have already seen it, maybe I have posted, maybe I didn't. No, 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 don't tell anything. Yeah, right now I didn't post it, but hey, but this video, Captain Blush, will be later than the Jet Cat. Because, in fact, we were trying to take off, uh, we were trying the trolley for the first time, Captain Blosh was trying to take off from the trolley with the EDF jet, with the jet cat, 70 millimeter on 6 cell, and that was nothing. We just had the car on the runway, <laughs> so today we won't even screw with that, because I know right now that this plane will not take off from the trolley, and that's it. Eh? Now, what I have done in this plane, of course, I will tell you that I have tried to set this baby to recognize the ESC, the four cell battery, but with the original ESC, no way. And maybe later we will film the video when I will show you the proof that that ESC, of course I have taken though that ESC out, I have put it inside a new uh, 50 amp ESC, which now can recognize these beautiful and sexy four cell batteries and with this i think that we will have a little more power for takeoff now how we will do that the old-fashioned hand tossing way yes because viewers were all scared and friends that because of that trolley we won't have hand toss on this uh, channel anymore but of course a we can't get by the hand tossing so today of course, because of my crooked hand, viewers, I can't hold the radio anymore in just my left hand. So I won't screw nothing today because I know that I will crash the plane if I will try to hand launch it myself. So Captain Blush will hand launch it. But we will, we will be careful in a way that I will put the throttle after Captain Blush will hand launch the bird. And we will hope for something and that's it. Then. Because the plane, in fact, does have a beautiful grip to hold it, but the prop is in the back. So well, if nothing, if nothing else, there will be a little bit more room in your hangar. But hey, that's why we're here to test the plane. So there is a good chance that we will crash it again today. But I'm hoping for something. And to tell you the truth, I mean, I will just plug in the radio. I won't even screw with the safe select anymore because I have discovered that with the safe... I will plug it in. You can plug it in. Yeah, of course, salute Captain Blush. That with the safe select, I mean, <laughs> the plane uh, behaves very strangely one other on eh? So I don't know what's with what? that. Just plug it in, Captain Blush. And maybe I will show you. And now just leave it. Leave it. Leave it. A little. So this means that the plane now has, it is now in the safe mode, but of course I will change this to just AS3X and that's it. Now wait Captain Blush to check it. it or what? I will change it and now, because look at this, eh? but it, but it looks. There is a little difference, do you see this, say? Maybe it should be in the safe, but I will just go without the safe. And of course, I have set it myself, the triple rates. Uh, I have uh, put it a little less aileron travels, just in case. And that's it, eh? Now, Captain Blush, I wish you good luck. And I wish myself a good luck. 
give it some throttle. And I hope that this will be something, eh? Are give you ready? Give some throttle. But today we have Captain Blush the full cell power, eh? Are you ready? Yes. What was that? Half throttle? Yeah, not totally. Just tell me when you're ready and that's it, eh? Don't be too hurry on the... You see? Look. Yeah, that is why we're I talking, this, eh? eh? Yeah, put it in, eh? What? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the nose of the plane. Now, are you ready, Captain Blush, for something, eh? Just tell me when. Put the HMK in Huh? Run? Should I, should I run? Well, what's the difference? Throw it I... to the Shantyakov, Captain Blush. When you're ready, just do it. Don't run nothing, just throw it hard. Are you ready? Put the thumb. 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 Put the that was some sick hand toss, eh? <laughs> but hey, you hey, usually. But look at this! You hey. have saved it very good. Oh yeah, we over safe. Finally, we have this sick of terror in the air, eh? I was scared for my hand. We will all scared, but hey, I have saved it pretty good because I really thought that this will be the end of story, eh? Yes. Because I have thrown it like a pussy. You see it good? Uh huh. Hey, but the small travels are perfect, eh? Hey. Are they? Hey, look at this, eh? And you can really control it good, eh? Hey. I'll come one. Maybe we will have to assemble that launch ramp that we have. Look at this, eh? Not bad, huh? Mm-hmm. I will come one low for the pleasure, eh? It's really so easy to handle, I can't believe this. Eh? It even looks easy. What was that? I don't know, eh? That was the second time that happened this. This was the second time that something died here. Signal eh? loss? Time I don't know, eh? Which receiver? Ah, original. It's the original receiver, eh? This is why I like orange more. If there will be again loss. Now I can tell you viewers that this is really really easy to handle. Eh? Did you saw it again? Yes. I think it's time to go down, eh? 30 seconds. 30 seconds. I will land now, but this was the third time. The fourth. The fourth time that But this one was the closest, eh? Something died, eh? Oh, look at this again. Oh, oh just come shit, back, just come hey. back, and that's it. That was. Oh. So that's it. No control anymore of the plane, eh? <laughs> Where is the nose? Uh huh. Did you saw this, eh? I think there is something wrong with, with that with the gyro inside. With eh? the gyro and with the receiver, because this was the fourth time that I lost the control of the plane. Eh? But every time, aha, I can see the nose. Yes. Every I'll time. go for the nose. Do you know why this happened right now? Why? Oh, ah, still look at this, eh? <laughs> but what's this, eh? Every time you go fly, it's like this or what, eh? 
Because do you know why this landing was? I mean, I was good on the landing, but the, the motor didn't stop. I no. the throttle all the way back and... Do, don't you have a brake on? Huh? You, do you have the brake? Yeah, the brake, but hey. During this, hey, I wasn't <coughs> thinking about the brake too much, Captain Blood. But what's with you, eh? No, no, brake doesn't have the ESC, the brake. Yeah, everything is still okay. Yeah, it's all okay, but there is... But the... what was this? Did you saw this crazy? Now come here, show this. Of course, you can see this. That the plane is still, yeah, uh, still in one piece. It just uh -huh. popped look, out. Look, it works. The safe and AS3X still works. I mean, hey, but why was this? Hey, now of course. But I mean, hey, hey, I couldn't imagine better flight because hey, look at this, hey. But did you film the the landing? Yes, I did. And do you know what's the good thing right now? That this is not that glued in again. Oh. Look at this, hey. Again, <laughs> the, but this time the prop the bird is in survived, one, and the prop also. And that's the main point because I have found only one prop in the whole Europe, Europe and this one was in the UK, and the frame, the prop came and look at this. Hey, I will take the battery out. Huh. <laughs> to tell you the truth, <laughs> we still have. The the Optera in one piece. I mean, hey, to, hey, I don't think that I have ever seen a plane more more re, uh, resilient to the crashes, say, hey, like than this one, hey. But hey, this was pretty scary stuff, hey. Uh, this was pretty close a few times, yes. Hey, four times, say. Hey, I really thought. Eighty-seven percent of the battery left. 87% after three minutes. Yeah. So that means that with this battery, the 2600, 2600 four cell battery, you can fly this plane for what? Yes, three cell. How so much? Yeah, but what are you doing now? Aha. Eh? Uh -huh. 87%. 87. <laughs> now the flying time of this, now can you imagine that I was flying for three minutes, so that means that you can fly with this, what? Eight minutes without any problems. Yes. I mean, without the problem of the battery, but what the plane was doing today in the air, I mean, this was sick, eh? Now I really wonder why was that, eh? There because was four, four times... Four cutoffs. Four but how was the plane flying then when the when the the plane just cut off? Yes. But strangely, always just in turns. Always when I was trying to turn the plane, it wanted to cut off. Maybe it didn't want to cut off. Maybe it was trying to level it. Eh? I don't know. Who said happened? anything about cut off? Maybe it was just I mean, uh, trying when to. The plane wanted when I was doing the the the. Did the... you have it in the right position? Yeah, of course I did. Eh? I have it in the just the AS3X, nothing else, eh? But the, the the engine also cut it on those occasions, and then here on the landing, the engine was working, and that was the the sick part because I was landing, I put the throttle all the way down, and the and the the prop was still working. Spinning. I couldn't cut off the engine this time. I mean, hey, I'm really confused here with this. Could you eh? try this with a normal receiver? I think that I will do also that day. Eh? Because the Neptune flies with the normal receiver. <laughs> now, of course, for the flying wings, I mean, all the flying wings that I already have at home, I didn't have any gyro in any flying wing, and I was flying them pretty good, eh? but this time <laughs> something is really wrong We will here. do another test with the normal receiver. There will be another test. We will test this plane again with the normal receiver. <sighs> I'm just clueless here eh, what to tell about this. It can't be in the ESC the problem because the ESC is for the four cell batteries. No, no, no. The power was great. There was just some interference. There is something with the eh. receiver. I have read many comments that guys have the problems with the receivers. I didn't mean, you order uh, I did have Didn't a you few, order new ones, the red con? I did but I did have a few bind and fly planes. Did I have a three or four? 
And I didn't have the problem until now with this. I mean, I can't blame the receiver right now. We will see what will happen. Because I will fly this plane with the normal receiver again, and then we will see what will happen. But uh, I can tell you something while the plane is in the air. The low rates were perfect. And you can really, really uh, handle the plane in the air really good. Eh? It flies eh, like on the track, say. Eh? If there wasn't these interferences, eh, I would give this plane, I don't know what, seven or something. Eh? No, it'd be just five. But because of this... Not five, four. I, I can't... I will give it five by now, and then we will discover again what the hell was going on here, why I had this problem with this. So this is it, Captain Blush. Yes. The wind is picking up. We still have one plane to test. Yeah, will you try this wind? Yeah. Should I? Maybe I will, at least yeah, we are here. At least we can hover, who cares, say. The, the Flex Innovations, what's that, FIV-31 Superjet or something. <coughs> we will try that now, eh? Maybe it will work, maybe it will not. Like we said, every time you go fly, you raise the crash and just as the fact of life, eh? But as long as the prop is okay and your hand is still working, and that's it, eh? Mm. <laughs> There is always another day to go fly, eh? So this is it. Pilot Robert and Captain Blas signing off from Slovenia with I don't know what. I mean, I can call this the maiden flight. We also had a little hand tossing here. But the end of this was just crazy, eh? But at the end... Eh, for the resilience, I can give this plane... A nine. Nine and a half. Yes. Because to, to be crashed... Because? Because... To, to have the foam plane crashed twice and it still looks like brand new, eh? I don't know another plane so good as this, eh? Yes. <laughs> Viewers, we love you all, of course. Thanks for stopping by. There is a lot more to come. We have a little sun today. They say snow tomorrow. So, hey, who knows when we will be the next time on the runway. But, hey, we will try our best, eh? So, this is it. Mm -hmm. Thanks again. No Captain Lush got quick. Because we must do what? You must, I don't know. Maybe you must, we will fly or maybe we will You not. must smoke one and then try next plane. First I will smoke one and then I will try to fly something again. Eh? <laughs> Yours, thanks again. Eh?